March 27th, Wednesday, here at Northern Middle School Gym, we have Pulaski County Maroons versus Southwestern Warriors. Guys turn to play volleyball, and right now, James, we are at 18 to 13. A lot going on here as I see Coach Miller come in. We have a pretty good audience contention here as Steve and Teresa back on the sidelines with Coach Mackenzie McCollum coaching up our young men here. And Steve's voice, James, is what really strikes out to me. The guy, is, he's still got it. He's motivating. He's talking, and I can hear everything he says. He's loving it. Guys are smiling. This is a fun time. So right now, it is all the Leighton Bramble and Jesse Dixon show from what I've seen so far. It's guys are just making plays. Folks, uh, this has been a lot of fun. Of course, you know, we're, we're going to bring you the names of everyone. We have Angel, JP, as I'm going to refer to him, number 16, Jackson Parmalee, Z, number 27, coming in here, Leighton Bramble, Logan Stamper, number 31. Is that working for Yes, I'm screaming over here in the corner. As uh, Hello, I see Peyton AC, and I'll see the lovely Kinsley Molden here uh, joining us here. This is a good time, man. It's Wednesday night, the sunshine. I'm feeling pretty good. The only thing you and I are upset about. We thought it started at 6 from all our sources, and it started at 5.30. So we walked in, and yeah. it's 18 to 13. So we were walking in here thinking we were ahead of the curve, thinking we were early, folks. But we are, in fact, late. So we apologize for that. But we're going to bring you everything that's going on here because it's exciting. And I play at the net. That's Jesse Dixon and the, the twin towers of de deception there. Jesse Dixon and Logan Stamper making plays at the net. This is great. Uh, first off... I'll tell the audience this story. I'm trying to make sure I get everybody on the roster's name before we come over here. And I go to KHSAA to find the boys' volleyball roster, and it turns out if you try to do that, it's non-existent. So... <laughs> So apologize for that, but we, we know our guys here. This is a pretty good squad. Steve motivating. I, I see a really good team that we have here of young men. And what's really interesting to me, James, is as soon as this was announced that this was going to be offered in the spring, the amount of people interested, the people were coming out of the woodwork for this. This is what's really great. Boys volleyball, 12th region is just seeping at the mouth for boys volleyball. So I think that's great. It's great for the sport. It's great for the kids. You know, what I'm looking forward to and is seeing Jackson Parmalee up at the net because he's anything like Sydney. You know, we had a lot of fun with all the kills she had when she was at Plaza County High School. So I can't wait till the rotation gets him on the front line. Very athletic. Leighton Bramble's calves are the size of my hips, folks. This guy, uh, no offseason. They're soccer players, but they're definitely getting conditioned with this. Their hands and feet work, it's all good stuff. But, yeah, Jackson Parmalee jumps out at with you. I see Giovanni uh, on the sidelines, Peyton Keller on the sidelines so this is a this is a really cool hodgepodge of dudes playing volleyball i love it calling our, our guys hodgepodge I, I love it so we'll make sure everything oh just right in front right there of, of parmalee so come up a little bit short all of a sudden we got 23 18 in the match and you know I'm, we don't have pitcher and pitcher here so we'll just have to trust us on what the score is um, hopefully maybe we can get back up top if we do game number two so this isn't the greatest view for seeing everything down here but hey we're here we're here it's documented the first men's volleyball game recorded in the history of Maroon Sports Network. And I'm here with one of my best buddies on a Wednesday night. So it's going to be fun, Brendan Foister, sharing a little baby mic. So we got to love it. Yeah, and I should have realized this, but of course, this is Maroon's Warriors. This is uh, Crosstown Rivals right here, playing it out at Northern Middle. Reason why we had to reset at Northern Middle is because of uh, the new upholstered floor coming soon to you at Pulaski County Gym in the making, in the process. Hey, we're right now in the first set. James Logan Stamper going to serve for the win. It's 24-19 PC right now on top. But really, it's been back and forth this entire first set. And the point's going to go to Southwestern. 24-20. Deadlocked here. Coach Miller is at the entrance. It's uh, anybody's game right now. As we are... Seeing the serve here, there's Angel, Jesse Dixon with the tip, and 
that'll be it. That's the game. Fist pumping. First set right here goes 25-20. Folks, we were late getting to you. But thanks for tuning in to Maroon Sports Network as we're going to bring this to you on delay. But it's a good time. Um, really, as we see the layout of this, I know our guys went on the road to Wayne County and grabbed a win on the road there. Their first game ever in their existence and of the season was against the travel team club squad from Corbin who came in and won straight sets. So it's right now, uh, this is what, their third game that they played, if I'm guessing right now, and I'm, I'm literally guessing. Because <laughs> We'd have to ask my main man, Logan Stamper, because I have no idea how many games they've played so far, but are we thinking they're one and one? Yeah, I'm thinking one and one right now and then squaring off here tonight. Of course, I think they're playing two games, my understanding. They're going to play right after this game, my understanding. Logan Stamper giving us some love on the sidelines, uh, but this is uh, a wonderful crowd here on a Wednesday night to watch some boys volleyball. So You know what, you saying that, and it really is. I mean, I'd have to crown the, the crowd for us and pan over them, but uh, almost the entire bottom section is filled up. I expected maybe 12 people to be in here, yeah. and Brandon, we probably got 100. Yeah. So, yeah. pretty good turnout for a Wednesday night for men's volleyball, and they must be an appetite for it. So, we love volleyball, so we're, we're part of, of hopefully the majority that enjoy the sport. Yeah, and I see coaches here from across the district and across the region here scoping it out. I see Sandra Baker here from Wayne County, so they're trying to get all the gory deets down, and we see our lovely volleyball, volleyball squad over here. Olivia Travis, we see uh, Ava King, we see Emma Moody over there, and I also see former, it's uh, Peyton Petit standing on stage. So I'm just going to sit here and just tell you about everyone that we see. Hello. Getting some love for Volleyball Squad here. Oh, there I see Kendall. Kendall Petit. They're waving at us, of course. So this is, uh, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Volleyball, Northern Middle School, Warriors. Uh -oh. It's Warriors and it's Maroons. Here is Steve and Teresa waving at us. We got the guys here. We got everybody smiling. We're all having a good time. You know, it's just volleyball. We're all here just having a really good time. And, and you know what you said that when we love Steve and Teresa Combs. So they did so many things yeah. for the volleyball. My daughter played for them. And, yeah. and, you know, they were such great coaches. And they made the regional title game like five times. And we just lost in that title game like five different times times to great southwestern teams or great great Wayne County teams and and that was always the top three in region until West Jess came in and started dominating later on uh, but you know West Jess brings some athletes out there it's tough to beat yeah. the, the the Nicholasville and the Lexington teams but it's fun to see them out here taking over the very first ever men's volleyball team so I can't imagine what that call was when coach Miller said I know the perfect people to coach yeah. and he called them and they're unretired again yeah. off the lake and them being willing to do it and James it's not often that you know them better than I do they are competitors, but it's not often that right in the middle of the game and in a huddle, they stop and say, hey, Murray, Maroon Sports Network, and waving and smiling. So that's actually pretty cool. Not going to lie. So It's like we got our main man, Logan Stamper, buried here to serve for set number two. You think he'd look back at the camera. Leighton Bramble did, so he knows we're recording. So let's see what Stamper comes up with. But uh, pretty exciting so far. So like you said, what was it, 25-21 first yeah, set? 25-21, okay. that's right. So here we go, fans. Get ready for set number two. James, my first question is the choice of numbers on the jerseys. Uh, I find it interesting. They are um, not traditional. Number 31, number 17, it's just odd, but I like odd. That's okay. Bring it on. Logan starts us out with an ace right here, Brandon. So good one right here. 1-0 found the soft spot and put it in there. And I want to know, like, how long have they been playing volleyball? I, I think I might know the answer, but I really don't know. I, I just, I'm curious to know how long have these guys been actually playing the sport? Because if it's just generous curiosity, then that's even better because there's some athletic plays being made here already. And then our man serves it in the net here and gives them the free points. So we've got to call out Stamper. So one to one. And I don't know. But, you know, a lot of times it's one of those summer sports you just go play sand volleyball and, and mix it up because everybody seems to like the sport. But, you know, Brandon, ironically, oh, Parmalee gets right. up. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Good. No, right. looking at. Uh, I'm just curious, do they play other sports? I know some of our guys are soccer guys. Soccer. Yes. So 
I mean, soccer for the majority of them. Benefits here to other sports as far as conditioning goes? Uh, you'd think it'd be a lot right here, but you know, and not only that, agility, just be able to reflex wise, to be able to respond. And, and I think playing multiple sports is always the right way to go. So it makes you a better athlete all the way around. What's interesting also is in comparison to Pulaski County Gym, a smaller rooftop here. So a lot of plays could be dead just off the rafter. So that changes things as well. We got a call. We got talking and I'm not, not sure. I'm yelling right now in the gym where it's eerily quiet. So I apologize for the play by play here. When we go up top, they won't notice nearly as bad, but we're on the floor level view. A lot of people, a lot of people are shushing me right now. So I uh, got to be a little bit. There's Angel with a nice tip and Jesse caught watching. Number 10, but hey, I would be too. I played. It's not easy. The ladies make this look easy. Okay, question for you. Better hair. Was it Jesse Dixon or was it Jericho Dixon? Jesse right now is catching up with him. Jericho's hair was interesting, especially right at the time that he graduated. But Jesse is giving him a really good run for the money. I like it. And he's got a lot of action right now. I like the, the, the shirt sleeve, the dry sleeve that he's wearing big time. Yeah, and it does look good. But it reminds me of Jericho coming in class. He just do that little hair flip every day. So when you do the hair flip, you know you got nice flowing locks. And he might have won best hair for senior superlatives. I can't remember. I think he did. You were actually right on that. And right here, we're seeing a really good play, a good volley right here by the guys. Off the hands of my man Logan Stan. Number six and get up for Southwestern because he elevated right there. So, you know, when you talk about athleticism, you better be an athlete if you're going to bring it out here to the volleyball game. I do recognize on Southwestern Om Patel. I recognize him. Um, I'm sorry, fans, that I, I don't have rosters with me to say other people's names. If you know them and you could somehow get a hold of me, I, that would be great. Harmony dropped it down a little sweet spot right there. So that was nice. 4-4. Four, four, so we got a tie game early. It's almost like he's getting little tits, uh, tidbits from his sister. Hey, man, Sydney or Dip, which one? So both of them were great volleyball players. Sydney's still playing, and she still got it. So uh, Dip was amazing. Dip was one of the best servers we had back when the K played. She could place the ball anywhere she wanted to, and a great libero. Wow, I'd like to have seen that. Uh, but right now, this is – I love it that we got volleyball in the spring. Uh, I love it in the fall because I think it hits just right when you're waiting on your football fix. But this, there's something cool about this right now. The, there's a vibe in this gym. Or you can feel like it's, it's going to get electric any moment. 6 4 us after a little nice dump pass coming over here. So here we go. I see both Parmalees, mom and dad, up there watching Jackson on. I see Mark Flynn and Amy Flynn there uh, pulling on the Southwestern Warriors. So that's nice when administration comes. You've got uh, Carl Spurdine down here sitting with us. And uh, Mr. Levi Evans coming yes. to watch yes. some of the players as well. So that's I'm, pretty nice. I may have to get some play by play critiques over here from the Southwestern Lady Warriors greats and JJ McKinney because maybe they know something about this that I don't. I'm just curious. Oh, nice save by Southwestern right there. This is going to be a really good point here, Brandon. Logan Stamp. Oh. <laughs> now, now, that's going to be a blooper. Uh, we may have to put in the reels. So, yeah, you mistimed that one in the ball. <laughs> it is I don't think I've ever seen that in a girls game. No, and, and how he elevated, and it still touched his face. Like, that was interesting. Was still The ball was still rising on that just a bit deep there so we might catch one here on this camera i'm just saying that is a very good possibility with my reflexes i might be able to save us but i better be on guard for sure uh out of bounds i heard the communication on southwestern side good call it is seven six right now maroons steve's wanting to talk it over with his dudes giovanni is going out of the game and uh number 28 carrillo into the game Luis, i think Luis. Luis. 28, and I'm excited to see him. Logan, oh, nice, nice. So Logan made up for a little bit there with the ball hitting his head, dumping in. So 8-7 Maroons, Brandon. I think it's crazy how easy he's making that look. <laughs> Logan Stanley. He's super athletic. Yeah. You don't really realize it. Wow. You know, we got to top eight at state, and, and was it long jump or triple jump? That makes Long jump, wasn't it? Big. I think right. he finished seventh in the state of Kentucky. Oh, nice dip in right there. Nice play. Luis made the saving play for the point for the Maroons right there. Coming in, not caught watching at all. Wow. Well, that was super nice. So I see Emily up there with his family, so she's happy. So smiling. Yeah, all smiles up here, so that's good. Oh, both 
Jesse and Angel going up, and they're going to call it at the net. I think Angel got into the net. So anytime you touch the net, it's the other points team. So nine to eight, Maroons early on, but super competitive. I've seen these officials in ladies competition during regular season. They're as solid as you can get. Uh, I'm not sure that I could really call this one, not knowing the sport as well as I should. And two, live action is tough. And there's a nice Angel play. got up there and practically hit him in the face with that. So that was a kill on Angel's behalf. So nice one on them. You know, the cool thing about playing in year number one, you get to set as many records as you want to set in particular categories. Now, they can always be broke, but in year number one, you may be holding a Pulaski County High School record that stays only for one year, but you are in the record books. You go in the record books. I think that's worth it in itself. But, hey, that was Logan and Angel both making up for plays uh, for points earlier. So that's that's it. That's good to see. Bounce back. Nice play at the net with Southwestern. 16. Logan set that one just a little bit too deep, and that was an easy kill for Southwestern. It's a good dig, but it's got to take a little bit off of it so we can be able to set up the pass. 10-9 Maroons right now over the Warriors. Serve Warriors right now. Bramble there with the stick, and it's out of bounds. Lack of communication, and it goes out point to the Maroons. I'm not sure what Jesse was. Well, I'm not sure what Jesse was thinking on that one because he's the only one near the ball right there, so there was no communication mishap on my behalf, so I don't know what that one was in my personal opinion. Normally you'll see that drop in when two players are close to one another and they don't talk and, and realize who's supposed to get it. In that case, that was obvious it was Jesse's ball. And that's uh, Jackson with the hit way out of bounds. Two straight back-to-back -back points for the Warriors. Got a little momentum right here in the second set, up one. Luis to Angel to Jackson. Whoa, goes up. And they're going to say, what, uh, Warriors in the net maybe? Yeah, it had to be in the net. That's the only thing that could have been. I didn't see it, but does, does it mean it didn't happen? Yeah. Uh, let's see what Jesse's got on his serve, Brandon Forster. So little Jericho, little Jewel coming up to serve. Everybody making it happen right here. Oh, There's a lot. Nice serve. It fell right in there and tried to try to get the one-handed retrieve. And I don't know how Southwestern feels about that, but I feel like a, a two-hand would be a much more balanced pass that you would have precision with instead of just sticking out the one arm. What I love is the ladies coming out here and showing some love and support for the guys. So guys, reciprocate this in the fall when it's the ladies' turn. I think I love that, the camaraderie between both sides. Really good crowd. Angel over the net, almost overplayed it. And I think it kind of surprised him. Well, it technically hit him in the face. So on the block, they went up for a double block, hit him in the face. But he was quick enough to go ahead and rebound and hit it, but it just happened to go out wide. But it might have stunned him a little bit right there. <laughs> yeah. Kind of rung his bell a little bit out of bounds off the tap from Logan Stamper, and Giovanni couldn't run it down. So if we ever wonder about the number of players, Brandon, we have 10 male volleyball players at this point in time. Jackson with a nice set over to Angel. Angel dumps it in there. So Southwestern ready for the return. Number six will oh, get up. What a nice. great block. Giovanni. Giovanni is nice. Wow. Got some ups right there. So good block right there. Big play from Giovanni right there. Making it happen. Getting some love from his crowd and coaches off the bench on that. Very cool. Serve from Angel. Southwestern with the tip. Caught Layton looking. Goes over, they keep it alive. Here's the set. Out of bounds. And it's going to go to Maroons. It's now tied up. Oh, I'm sorry, 14 13 Maroons. Let's see what Angel's got here on the serve. So I've got Angel in second period, introduction to business communication. And my man lobs it right in there to number 25. Making it happen. Angel all over. The on the back row, got it up. Carmelie tries to get it in. Oh, it comes back up again. Played by Jackson. So let's see if we get a good set. Angel, a little too deep. Oh, oh kick. Ball. It's playable. Still live. <laughs> hey, now you can question whether they have soccer skills or not, so that answers it real quick. But Layton, you know, I've seen that happen once in a girls game. They're able to kick it up and win the point. It was a great rally. Uh, I like uh... – <laughs> <laughs> and I know he's a competitor, but I like how uh, Leighton is just kind of like, eh, you know, oh, well, I love it. And uh, a big shout out. You're talking about Jesse Dixon's hair. What about a shout out to Leighton Bramble's hair? I mean, you're talking like natural curly flowing like a Fabio here playing volleyball. It's great. That is true, Brandon. So, so looking at that, we got to say Leighton may be upset if he doesn't get nominated for best hair on the team because it's definitely we got a timeout here. Let's go ahead and zoom in and, and talk a little bit. We're down 16-14, so a one-minute timeout. And 
And folks, if you're listening and watching this on delay, thank you for watching Maroon Sports Network is always bringing you boys volleyball. Of course, we just finished ladies volleyball, our football season. We just wrapped up lady basketball and men's basketball seasons for the Maroons as it was exciting as things came down to the wire. Right now we're heading into spring. We got a lot ahead for you. We got the baseball team in action, softball team in action tonight, boys volleyball, and of course, tennis and swimming all going on at the same time. My head's about to explode. Bass fishing's going to start up in two weeks, folks. Let's just go down to the lake and cheer on our bass fishermen. What do you say? Bleed maroon and white. Excellent point. Well, spring is awesome. The day like today, just a beautiful weather to get out there. So, Brandon, you know you and I are going to cover tennis as soon as we come back from uh, spring break. And then after tennis, we've got some baseball and softball games we've got to get on top of because our boys and girls teams are really good at spring sports. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun recording a lot of these different events. Jesse Dixon with the save. Here's Giovanni keeping it alive. On Patel on Southwestern side, keeping it up. Big serve by Southwestern. Out of the rafters, you really couldn't see it for to make a play on that so not much you can do there great play by southwestern right there as they go up three 17 14 i'm screaming right now and everybody's watching so sorry about that a little deep on that yeah one. it helps us out so now we get the serve back so let's bring up uh, parmalee so i hate that he's off the front row but he's also a pretty dang good server too number 16 jackson parmalee with the serve Two guys going up at it at the same time. Jackson's going to keep alive and set up Logan Stamper. Sends it over. Southwestern, very, I mean, they got really good sets that they're running right here so early on. There's Leighton Bramble throwing it over. It's keeping it alive. It's out of bounds. Great communication there. Closest one to our camera yet, but uh, fortunately they hit it. So 17-16, so Parmalee serving for the tie. So it should go right down to the buzzer. So far, a great match. Serve, and yes, way long on Jackson on that one. 18-16 Warriors, second set. Maroons taking the first set, 25-21. Here's the serve. Angel. Louise, or I'm sorry, Giovanni sending it over, and they're going to say point. Giovanni again making plays. You know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping it's set two, but I'm looking up the scoreboard and see period number three, so that concerns me to think maybe we missed an entire set and part of another set. Oh, wow. So we'll find out here in a minute and update our fans. We think it's set two, but it yeah. could be set three. Yeah, that's that's a good point, James. I, I did not realize that, but, yeah, you're exactly right. Just because we thought it was the first set doesn't mean anything because, again, we were late, so... 18-18, serve Giovanni, Maroons. Oh, nice tip right there, and it's almost overplayed by the Maroons as nobody was back to get it. Teresa wants to talk about position right here. Trying to hold her squad accountable. Coaching up her young team right here. You know, I love it. you got to coach every opportunity you can, and that's a learning experience for maybe it doesn't happen the next time you're in the same situation. So Jesse had to go get that with his left hand, so the set was a little bit off. So, Brandon, we're in a little bit of a trouble here, 20-18 to 18 with Southwestern serving. Falling behind two here as we see uh, the Warriors with all the momentum, and I'm screaming in a quiet gym. It's like I'm in a library right now. It's awkward. That's that's all right. Serve, Warriors. Logan Stamper sends it over. On Patel. Leighton Bramble, there's, oh, at the net. Great play. Number 19 for the Warriors getting up there, making a play, fist pumping, and now up three. I, I love to see the, the uh, teammates celebrate on big plays like right there. Nice one up there by Logan Stamper. So, big, we get the serve back 21-19, down two. Great court awareness for him to find the gap right there to give it over the first two at the net and nobody home to take it. So, that's a big point for the Maroons. Let's see if Layton Bramble now can serve it home for us. Almost served an ace. Giovanni to Angel to Logan Stamper with the tip. Giovanni now keeping it alive. Here's the set as Angel went across the line, of course. Yeah, say Giovanni's last name for me because it looks awesome. Uh, I, Fragoso Rodriguez? Hold on, let me see it. Where is he at? Fragoso. 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 Okay. There we go. I'm working on my Spanish. 
It sounds so Italian to me. It sounds like I need just a big dish of pasta and a meatball because I love that name, Fregoso. 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 Uh, if I ever have to go with a, if I ever have to go with a fake Italian name, it's going to be uh, uh, the Cor Cor Corleone. Corleone from the Godfather. Absolutely. It's not going to be Sam. It will be a good first name, though, right? <laughs> I make everything sound Irish, so I don't know. I have a bad fake accent. So here's Angel to Jackson Parmley with oh. the set. Up again in the rafters, out of bounds. Good play. 21 7 23, so big point for us. But now this is huge. Let's see what yeah. Dixon can serve up right here because I'd much rather be down one than three coming to the buzzer. This is like game seven oh, of the nice of the Western, or I'm sorry, NBA Finals in 1993 in Phoenix, Arizona. Looks like a timeout on that ace by Jesse Dixon, so 22 23. That was a big play right there. Jesse Dixon coming in there and making it happen. We got a one minute timeout. Maroon Sports Network, it's men's volleyball. Almost messed up, said ladies' volleyball. Ladies had their chance in the fall it's 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 men's night tonight on wednesday night they're going to make it happen uh we appreciate you tuning in right now to watch on delay men's volleyball action steve and Teresa here at northern middle school we're at northern middle school because pulaski county gym is under refurbishment right now and the court looks great with the new uh graphics that's coming your way Warriors up one in what is possibly, I would not say possibly, the third set. Don't know what happened in the first set. And Jesse Dixon going to make dreams happen here with the serve. Lack of communication ties it up at 23. This is exciting right here. So this, this serve is huge. We'll see how Jesse handles pressure. No better place to be than Northern Middle Gym right now. Oh, almost served a good one. Three straight aces by Jesse Dixon. So now we got set point all of a sudden coming out of anywhere. I want to know what he washes his hair with because that's what, what's bringing all the luck right now. Jesse, another great serve. Own Patel with the save. Angel running it down. Layton sends it up. Almost set him up for the point right there. So 24-24 and just no communication because that was just one hit and fell in the soft spot. But, man, Jesse can serve. He almost served out the set. So now we got a race to see who can get ahead by two the quickest. Steve, uh, uh, Steve, uh, the head coach for the men's Maroons, off the bench like, yeah, Combs, off the bench like Phil Jackson right there, commanding presence with his voice right there, getting his young men's attention, coaching it up. Logan Stamper with the send over on Patel catching it. Almost too close to call. Point, Maroons. A lot of cheering from the student section here, or we'll say fans. So 25 wow. 24. So now let's see what Angel can do serving for the same. I feel like it's like going to the free throw line in the regional championship right now. Yes, Angel sending it over. Southwestern sends it over to the gap, ties it up at 25. That net moved a whole bunch right there. I was wanting to say who hit it, and I, I don't know. But anyway, I don't guess anybody did, but big points. So 25 25. All right. Momentum now towards Southwestern as nobody's over in one side and nobody there to communicate as Angel shows his frustration. That was a good hit by Angel. So somebody's got to go and talk and get that. So timeout again, 26-25. And again, when you're coaching and dealing with young people, you could see it just flip that quick as far as body language and everything concerns. So that's just, again, part of the coaching and teaching moments where you say, hey, forget about it, have some amnesia, move forward. So here we are, 26-25, Southwestern with the serve, Southwestern with the lead right here in the third set. Brendan, I don't know who I heard this from. It might have been Steve Acton from class. But anyway, they talked about uh, some of the best athletes out there. The coaches try to tell them to have a memory like a goldfish. So basically, the last play is the last play. you got to forget, forget about it and go on to the next play. So hopefully that's what he's telling them here. The last play is gone. You can't change it. Let's focus on this next point that's coming up. And that's so true because you let that stuff linger. It does have an effect on you. And more than you know. So here is the serve for Southwestern with the lead and game point. Oh, and right into the hands and they win the set. Looks like they win the match. 27-25, Southwestern takes it. And is this, we're trying to get confirmation if that's the end of the match. 
That is okay. Into the match, Southwestern victorious, 27-25 in this third set. Looks like we can appear to say that Southwestern takes the first set, Maroons takes the second set, and a close one in the third one for Southwestern to take it and take the W right here. And uh, we may pause here for a second. I don't know. I'm gonna wait for confirmation here with my man James. Uh, it's all new to us right here. New territory, new seas that we are uh, bridging across. Yeah, Brandon, we'll get ready to just wrap up game number one. We may come back and film game two. We'll see, but we'll get on a separate feed here for that. But little did we know that we were serving for the match, not only the set, wow. so we said set wow. point, but when I caught that three up on the, on the screen, uh, so we missed a set and a half coming in 18 minutes late. So they must have got a lot of stuff going on there, for but uh, very short matches. So great match. Like anybody's moving. So. These two teams are very even. So Southwestern takes the first match, two sets to one, and uh, let's get ready to go off the air and we'll see if we can come back on. All right. So, folks, thank you for tuning in live or not live on delay here at Northern Middle Gym, unfortunately, uh, for our uh, premiere of men's volleyball. Maroons comes up just a tad short, but I feel like their ceiling is really high. So it's a lot to look forward to with this young group. Really loving what I'm seeing. It's a set. Maybe it was a set. Let's see. I think you'll find out for us. Keep talking. All right. We're going to keep talking. Well, that maybe, maybe we stand corrected. We are still still playing volleyball. This could be the third set. We're going to find out. Miss Olivia Travis is going to give us the rundown. Folks, thank you all for tuning in again. Still stay tuned to us here on this delayed network broadcast here of boys volleyball as we are looking to get confirmation if this is the third set. Don't know. Not really sure. Guess we'll find out. Leighton Bramble, Jackson Parmalee, Giovanni Fergozo, Angel, Luis, Z, Jesse Dixon, and Logan Stamper. Pretty good group that we got right here uh, as far as uh, a group of young men to come out and represent Pulaski County High School. So we'll see what's going on here as we are still... This could be the third set. James Murray is going to come over and give us all the deets right here as we know it. All right, James, what's the story? We're dying to know. The story is, since it's a tri-match, meaning that you've got three teams coming in, so I guess everybody gets two matches tonight. The three is just on the board, no reason at all, so the three shouldn't be there. It's one set apiece. Now they're playing set number three. Instead of 25, they're only going to 15 by two. So we got a short sprint for to see who wins the match. All right. Southwestern quickly out on top with the first point, but now on an error by Patel, we're going to see... Um, Maroons capitalize on a point. It's tied up at 1-1. Serve goes to Jesse Dixon. Serving it out for our young men. And nice play into the rafters. That, you just can't anybody. see it. That, they ran into each other. That went above the beams and hit nothing. So that was amazing when that came up like that. Yeah, I, that's that was an interesting play. Very difficult to see, especially with these low rise ceilings in this gym right here. All right, yeah, we got Jesse coming up. Who right now is my favorite server. I've got very limited content to judge from that, but uh, he did a great job. Oh, deflection right there, hit number three, and too hard. Angel got up, and he's probably going to hurt himself over that one, but that should have been a, a good one. Angel dropped his head a little bit, but uh, now we got 2-2. Two, two, so. Again, these guys kind of are making it look easy with some of these plays that they're making. You can see there's areas of communication that they got to clean up, uh, but that's expected so early on and, and right in the existence of this of this season. That's what's killing us right now, Brandon, is short middle. That's where no communication is right now. So if they hit in short middle, that seems like where it's always going to drop at. Into the game, Peyton Keller. Leighton Bramble to Jackson Parmley to Giovanni who sends it over and they're going to say point to Maroons as Southwestern went into the net too early. You know, one thing I don't see right here in men's volleyball, women, we saw it all the time, they called double hits all yeah. the time. I'm not seeing the first double hit called and maybe it's because it's early on in the season or something, but I don't know. Great point. I have thought for sure because that was always a killer for our, our, our ladies when they were playing. Here is Luis to Blayton. Now to, oh, Jackson goes up, comes down over one of his his teammates. Jackson got a little off balance right there and then slid underneath the net. So, yeah, that was definitely Southwestern point. Good night, man. I mean, he got up. Jackson Parmley and Peyton Keller not there to get it. 
right through his arms and an error goes to the Warriors now on top. Yeah, 5-3, so right there, yeah, Peyton had to, had to get that one, so. Steve's trying to do a 2-4 line up there here so we don't have any holes. And they went deep, good, good. Angel was up and ready for that one. Miss hit by Southwestern, so 5-4. It's a big point for us, so let's see what Parmalee's got, number 16. Good decision right there. And it looks like Wayne County might be playing next. It looks like they're coming over in the stands dressed, so we might have some more volleyball here tonight. So here is the set by Southwestern. Back to Luis, who makes the play. Nice cross court hit, so a lot of cheering here in the crowd for 5-5. Five, five. So now we've got to race to 10. Here we are, Jackson Parmley with the serve for the Maroons. Sends it over, it's 5-5. Five to five. Southwestern finding the gap. They're going to stay over in the net. And... Leighton Bramble. Okay, Leighton Bramble, yeah. Point goes to Warriors. Man, those silly mistakes can hurt you a lot in a close match like this, so we got to make sure that we're not into the net, so that's just free points. Angel to Luis to Layton, who sends it too hard. Out of bounds, point goes to Warriors. Seemed like Layton was just hitting and didn't follow through, swinging down, you know, he just sort of swung out on that one and it sailed on him, so 7-5, Warriors with the momentum. Here we go, Layton and our point. Again. He's going to have that one anyway. Big play right there. Big play right there to kind of stop the bleeding. Giovanni's going to serve. All right. And then we've got Jesse Dixon back in the game. So subbing back in. So Frogozo is serving. Nice serve. Big serve right there by Giovanni. Layton going to set it up for Jesse. Found at the net and big stop right there by Southwestern. Good, good kill. Our, our block by number 19 right there. So that was a nice one. So 8-6 Warriors. And again, this is a big crowd. Maybe it's just the size of the gym that's showing it, but uh, pretty good crowd for a Wednesday night volleyball game. Yeah, we may have to put that on camera if we get another timeout. Now, I'm sure there'll be one because in a tight set like this, you're going to have probably both coaches use their timeout. Eight, seven, so seven, seven, eight. Big play right there to, to, to get the ball back and try to see if you can uh, take the lead on this. Seems like in the last set, what we've seen, our guys, you know, trying to find momentum from playing from behind, really not there yet as they're working it out. You can definitely see signs where the ceiling is high for this group. Nice ace right there for Leighton Bramble, so eight, eight fans. And uh, so you just have to trust us on the score without flashing up, but eight to eight. Here we go, nice deep serve. All right, Southwestern does a really good job of meeting all of that. Uh, almost like he caught Angel, it. Angel, man. You see that good uh, old self-clapping gave himself yeah. after that, so that's a nice play. I'll have to brag on him tomorrow. He's playing good, man. I, I like Angel's now game. It's time to maybe show the crowd. Right. Time out here. It's 9-8 Maroons. And uh, folks at home, if you're watching, check out this wonderful crowd on a Wednesday night. We got the cards of Wayne County here getting ready to take on the next match and have no idea who they're playing. Uh, we know it's Warriors and Maroons right now. So very exciting times as it's the guys' turn in the spring to play some volleyball. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm glad to be here, and I'm, I know they're, they're excited for us to be here, Brandon, to be able to see them. So you saw the excitement in the face. All of them got on the camera. So let's just hope they can bring Maroon Sports Network a victory right here in our telecast. Absolutely. Let's see if we can keep that good mojo going right now. We've got uh, a basketball coach in Lexington. We've got not a basketball coach in Wayne County. We have a basketball coach in Pulaski County. So... Just uh, interesting times in the bluegrass right now. And then we're almost there to the run for the roses here coming up soon. Nice point right here. So this is one of those good rallies I like to see. So Logan with the good, uh, I think that was the last girl that walked through. Right, Leighton Bramble here making it happen. This is a long volley, James. One of the longest we've seen. Too hard by Logan. Point goes to Southwestern, ties it up at nine. That was probably the best rally we've seen, and, and uh, deservedly so in the final concluding set, but nine to nine. All right. So serve Southwestern right now here in this third set. 
as it is Angel to Jesse back to Angel. Nobody's seeing it there. And lack of communication drops. As you can see, when we hesitate, James, that's usually where you see the collapse. Yeah, they sort of looked at each other right there and didn't know whose ball it was to come there. So 10-9. Really is a game of communication like almost everything that we've, we've seen and covered, basketball especially, but no doubt it's true in volleyball. Timeout for Steve Combs. He wants to talk it over with his group. We're going to take a minute here as a pause right here as Southwestern goes up two in this third set. Looks like we're tied up at one game apiece with uh, the first game going to Pulaski and the second game going to Southwestern. And now uh, all bets are off as to what can happen next. We know Wayne County is here and they're going to be playing a game and I have no idea who they're playing next. It could be PC, I'm assuming. Might be, might be the Warriors. It might be a quadruple header tonight. I mean, we might just stay here all night and just play volleyball. We have high school teams. If you want to show up and you want to lace it up and play, you come on down here. We'll play. Maybe it's one of those things. I have no idea. But we're just happy and excited to be here. Coach Combs trying to rally his group as the guys come out of the huddle here. Maroon Sports Network, Northern Middle School Gym, Southwestern is serving. They're up two. Oh, a huge point right here. You can't say how big that is. Normally, you come out of there, and a lot of times they'll do a service error. But, right, oh, Angel, man, he's coming on good right here, 11-10. Big play right there for Angel. Make sure, sure we can get something going. Logan Stamper, see if he can serve up some magic right here for the Maroons. Serves it too hard. Or actually, it's in, no, I think. No, they're out. Okay. 12-10. We're going to make a sub. It's Luis coming in for Logan. Stamper, it looks like. 12-10. to 10. That was a huge serving error, especially when you're only going to 15. So let's see what happens here. Jesse over to Angel, and Angel gets in, gets going. That hit the top and way over in the deflection. So nice break for us, 11 serving 12. Went all the way to the stands to Caleb shot that. And he had it. He's like, let me hit it. I'll take a run at me, volleyball. Here's the serve. And wide open. You saw that coming, James. Wide open tunnel there. That was the best kill of the match. He got up high and hit it straight down, and there was that was super nice. 13-11 Southwestern with all the momentum here. He saw everything. You, we could see it open up, and that was a great play by the young man to make that happen. Big, big kill. Leighton Bramble gets it over on Patel. Almost looked like he was going to go through the hoop. Out of bounds, and they're going to say point Southwestern. Fell right on the line. What a break. 14-11. That was Steve's last time out. Another timeout to talk it over. We're going to take a minute pause right here as Southwestern now really grabbing a hold of some mojo going up three. 14-11 here in Northern Middle School Gym. And I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> we have Olivia Travis, sister of Zach Travis. Moody is over there, the other. Emma Moody is a line judge, calm, cool, collected as the other side of the pillow. Future generation here, the two young youngsters out here Olivia's working yeah. with, so that's nice to do a little rally with them. But Brandon, we're in big trouble now because they've got three match points, so we've got to win the next three in a row, so that's going to be a lot of pressure. And uh, I can see one. But that's such a huge break for you to hit the net and go right down the line. And, and you know, when it deflects like that, it's hard to, to predict where the angle is going to come from. So, big time point. Olivia, of course, was approached to play basketball, but it looks like she is all in. She's got all of her eggs in the basket on volleyball. She's going to make this happen. Play right there is 14-12. Maroons really needed that one, James, as Rao looks like Angel is going to serve it up for the young men, and he's going to see if he can make something happen. We need the next two in a row. Foot kick, and it's just deep. Wow. Missed it by about six inches on the soccer kick. 14-14. So 14, 14. 14, yeah, 14-13. Maroons now rallying back here. Point of the match. Here it goes. Good up high. Nice set coming over. And oh, out of bounds. Hit it deep. Wow. Big play. Ties it up at 14. Here we go. I like it. Number 17 playing with the gold chain on for volleyball. So. Kick 
ball, and it's two goes the other direction. Luis went to kick and took Jesse out on that leg kick, and uh, you, I've seen more kick balls here this match than I ever saw in a girls game, because that's at least three, if not four, that we've seen already. So match point Southwestern. Might be the soccer habits coming out of some of our guys who play soccer, so oh. could be. Our point in the net. Point Maroon. We got the first lift, 15-15, Brandon. Big, that's big. Can put us here to the charge here if we can get something going. Oh, nice ace by Jackson Parmalee. He makes that look natural. Now Southwest trying to use third timeout. All right, a lot of mojo right here going towards the Maroons here in this third set. Much needed at a time that they found themselves down as much as five. Yeah. Match points, so. Yeah. so that's huge. 14-11, and you rattle off, and, and now you're up 16-15 serving for the match. And Jackson looked like a natural right there. So, you know, so far if I'm looking at it, I want either Jesse Hood or Jackson Parmalee to be serving right here for match point. Absolutely. So I'm pretty confident that he's going to put it in play, and I don't know if they'll have a nice enough pass to be able to set up a good third shot or not. But uh, I like her chances here, Brendan, to take this match. I still can't get over, like you just said, our, our ladies that's involved. The coach, Kenzie McCollum, does a really great job of bringing these girls together and our crowd. There is so much local support for volleyball, and I love it. I love to see that. Uh, bring some excitement to the sport right here. Oh, that's too hard. Funny. And he went deep on it, so that's the one thing you could not do. 16 just made it 16 to 16. And that, that changes some things here. Last time it put us on our heels, out of bounds. That almost came to me, Brandon. I almost grabbed it and was a celebrity, but it was just a little wide to the left there. Gosh, I love Steve Combs, man. What a what a what a motivator. I've said it a lot on this broadcast, but man, my man is he's got it going on. What's that right here, Leighton? Let's go out here. Oh, too hard. Brandon, everybody's trying so hard to win that match point, and I get it, man. The adrenaline's just pumping, but you want to be the one that everybody celebrates with on that last point. And if you want another point, James, to why the ladies make kills look so easy, ladies are almost money on that, and that just shows you with guys and athletes, it's not that easy. No, it's not. Right there, Leighton, right here, good hustle, and lift again. Okay, 18-17. Who's serving for the match? Mr. Leighton Bramble, the chiropractor himself coming in right here, so. Caught him off balance just a little bit, and now let's see if we can capitalize. Let's go, Leighton. Nice deep serve coming in here for the touch. Leighton goes up to Angel, come over to Luis, trying to find the sweet spot. Southwestern coming up, pressure behind them. Oh, Jesse, and once again, we can't get it done on the cross quarter. Looks like, man, we were about ready to win that thing, but now it's 18-18. That misdirection has always been money against our, our guys tonight. That's one thing we've noticed. All right, Logan Stamper comes in for Luis for the sub at 18-18, Southwestern serve. So 19 is going to serve at 18-18. Right, here's the serve. Angel sends it to Jesse, finds the gap. Big time play. with a little bit of a miss hit right here. So that was a pretty good point. So just one pair. So 19-18, we're on the ropes, match point. Just hit it too low. Here we go for the serve. Gotta talk, gotta communicate. Jesse over to Angel, Angel down the line. Uh-oh, back to us, Layton, to Angel, to Logan. Dumps it in, good point, hit number two, cross court, good block, and he knocks it in. Inbounds, Jesse with the save, 19-19. Raw is not Jericho, Jex, Jesse coming through with the save right there. Not Jericho, Jesse. The walls of Jericho, yeah. I cannot forget that nickname. <laughs> I love it, it was the best. Late. Jesse, uh-oh, he might have turned his ankle right there. So Patel come down and that hit his head and bounced again. So match point, Logan Stamper can be the hero or all Maroon Sports Network. Logan Stamper serving at 2019. Wow. Our own in the region tournament. He was making the camera work go. Got a timeout now, I think, from Southwestern. We're going to pause right here as the Maroons are up one. And we've got some um, communication going on at the scores table. Steve wants to talk to his group. 
try to get everything going on, get them aligned, keep everyone square right here. We're talking about positioning. It's all about communication and your position on the court. We've seen that come through on both sides in this match already, how early on that's the key for coaching this sport, as we can see, with young people and making sure everybody's accountable here and you don't let anything fall through the cracks. Such a huge point, Brandon, and I really want this for the boys. So the first match you ever record and upload, you want it to be a victory. Yeah. So, but what a fight. So 20 to 19. Yeah, this is great. This is uh, volleyball action in Northern Middle School. Home of the Maroons here. Warriors. Maroons. At the net. What are they going to call? Oh. And it is. Yeah, tied up now. Wow. Error right there. As it looks like Jackson and Angel both going for it. I think Steve's call them in the net. subbing because I hear sub, sub, yeah. sub. Meatball marinara for me, Steve. That's my favorite. My favorite sub. Here's the serve. Layton to Angel. Oh, oh man, you saw Jackson get way up on that one. Wow. And what are they going to call? Way out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yeah, way out of bounds. 21 20. Big time, big time. There's a, a, a questionable stance here at the net, but it's going to go Maroon's way. Jesse's got the serve. Might be Jesse's younger sister here. I'm not sure. Wow, that was, yeah, she's cheering him on. So Footfall, oh my gosh. I didn't look at his feet, but that? footfall across the line, automatic point for Southwestern. Oh my, wow. All right, so serve to Om Patel, Southwestern. Ooh, looks like he might have been, might have like caught himself. That'll do it. Southwestern's gonna take the win. So close, so close. But Southwestern here takes the win here, Northern Middle School. And uh, guys, looks like they're gonna be around for another match here to kind of work some things out. And. Uh, as you said it, James, we wanted this so bad for our guys, and man, it was so we, close. Had opportunity. We had every opportunity. We had either four or five different match points and staved off a bunch, but, uh, you know, little small things I think we could clean up, but, you know, a foot fault there late on my man Jesse was, was tough on us to give him a free point when you're serving essentially for the match there. So we're up, no, I guess it was tied at that point in time, but, you know, that gave him a one-point lead in the serve. So, but overall, good performance. I like what I saw, so we fall and set number three um, by a score of 23-21, was it? They took it off so quick, I couldn't even put the camera up there on it. Yeah. Uh, but thoughts on our first match covering men's volleyball? A lot of athleticism, a lot of energy. These guys really don't quit, and they play hard. You can see that it's the little things that mounts up to the big things. And I know that sounds like a coachism. You hear that so much, but it is. It's the little things like the communication and the little errors, and those things are all going to be cleaned up. I think their ceiling is really high proud of these guys. I think they're going to do some big things. They're going to beat some people that might make some people shake their heads and be like, how did this happen? But I, I definitely see it in the squad. A lot of athleticism. All right, Brent, let's get ready to take it off the air and we'll see if we come back or not. But anyway, Southwestern takes two out of three sets and let's wrap it up on this Wednesday, March the 27th, 2024, filming on a delayed basis from Northern Middle School. Yeah, James, this is a lot of fun. It's, it's kind of surreal doing volleyball in the spring and I really like it. I uh, can't wait to see really what the what, what's in store for these young men? We just came up a little, uh, little, little low on here on the very end here in that matchup. But uh, I'm proud of these guys. But Maroon Sports Network, thank you for watching.